Judge made a rare move and cleared each one of them from their attempted murder charge. Now, those charges stem from an incident, a shooting last year in the Greenwood Mall. This is a cell phone video capturing those gunshots. It sparked panic inside the mall there, as you can imagine. The six defendants in that shooting, well, they faced a judge for the last couple of weeks. But yesterday, that judge acquitted all of those men before their case even went to the jury. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle tells us why this victory, as you can imagine, is so bittersweet. I really feel bad for the people that was in there that day that was affected by this stuff because it affected me. More than a year and a half after gunshots caused panic at Greenwood Mall, the six men once accused of the crime are celebrating their innocence at home. But some are also coming to terms with a loss. Well, I lost my senior year of high school, my senior year of football. I lost academic scholarships, sports scholarships. A lost moment with loved ones. I was arrested August the 2nd, and my first born child was born August the 4th. So that's that's enough to miss right there. And for Shaim Freeman, the loss of his mother. I honestly haven't been able to grieve it. Like due to the trial and just like getting out so late and going so early and still having to deal with my regular life, like I ain't really sat down and actually dealt with it. It still doesn't feel real. Freeman's mother died the week before Freeman reclaimed his innocence. I actually texted her the morning of the trial and told her I love her. While she was never able to see her son walk free, Freeman says she doesn't have to. She told me prior to it happening that it would happen. So I feel like this is basically her doing. So she's happy. I know that she ain't got to tell me. As each man discovers what his new normal life looks like, they each hope to grow from the last 18 months. I don't look at it as a loss. I look at it as a lesson. There's a lot of innocent people out here that's they don't deserve nothing like this. Reporting in Greenville, Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News. The 8th Circuit Solicitor's Office did release a statement to us saying they are disappointed with the judge's decision to issue a direct verdict, which rarely happens. The counsel argues there was enough evidence to send the case to a jury, and the police chief there also saying about the same thing that the solicitor told us in that statement.